Very good. Let's come back to our pen and ink because that's uh, the one that you're probably going to be using the most often. And let me say at this point, uh, Dr. Louder has created a couple of, in fact, three very, very nice videos on mounting casts on a pan and ink. And I would refer you to those. I highly recommend them. They're done very well. They give you a good overview of, of this mounting procedure. There are a couple of very slight but very important variations from what Dr. Louder teaches, which is mounting casts. They have a very beautiful look. They're great for presenting to patients, to colleagues. Uh, it, they're, they're smoothed up nicely and they're, they're, they're beautiful. The method I'm going to show you is more what you would use for everyday crown and bridge work, cases that you're going to be mounting that would go to the laboratory to have a prosthesis fabricated. Uh, and so we avoid using any plaster to fill in around the edges. Uh, the plaster is nice because it's a little less expensive than mounting stone and it can fill in the irregularities and make for a very nice looking mounting. The downside to plaster is it expands a lot and I've seen plaster unmount uh, a cast that's been mounted with mounting stone. If there's a preponderance of plaster versus mounting stone. So if you don't use enough mounting stone when you're finishing up with the plaster, you can actually dismount it. You don't realize it, but you can tell later because the mounting is off. So we're gonna avoid using any plaster for any uh, mountings that are gonna to go to the dental laboratory to have a prosthesis fabricated. Uh, and we're also, because we're indexed on the internal portion rather than at the edges, we're gonna focus our mounting stone in the center point so that if we have to remount, it's very easy to separate the cast later. So we'll set our, uh, our maxillary cast there. We'll kind of estimate how much space and how much stone we need. It's a good idea to just pre-soak. And so I've got just a paper towel here that's pretty soppy, soaky wet. I'm going to set it on the top there. And uh, again, I've estimated how much stone I'll need. And so uh, we'll mix that next and I'll be back while this sets for maybe just a couple of minutes and then we'll dry off the surface. So make sure when you go to the uh, plaster bin that you're, again, you're using mounting stone. It, it, it's made for mounting because it's low expansion. It's going to give you the most accuracy. Now we didn't have much of a gap. I looked and maybe there was three eighths, half an inch gap. And so I'm going to put maybe a scoop, scoop and a half for a mounting like that, something like that. And then let's uh, add the water to the powder. Again, it's not critical. We don't care about bubbles on this mix, so we don't have to add the powder to the liquid and pay attention to those kinds of things. We don't have to vacuum mix. And you want to mix it a little bit on the thick side. So we're going to add a little water there. And I probably, maybe, added a little bit much. So I'm going to come back. Yeah, so you want some consistency to it so that it doesn't run. Uh, Dr. Louder uses the term uh, peanut butter consistency. I think that's a good description. And then we're going to take a dry paper towel with us because you don't want any puddles of water on your stone cast. You will have to blot those off if you've got it soaked to the point where there's puddles. I'm going to recheck my distance there. They line up quite nicely. And so try to keep it, keep your uh, mounting stone within the center. Uh, just uh, keeps it a little bit neater. And within the center of your plate like that. And then we'll put a little dollop <laughs> on our cast. 
And that's probably about all that we're going to need. And then we'll simply rotate this into place. Tap it a couple of times, make sure that the pin seats. And we don't want to necessarily create a smooth edge or junction between where our mount is and where our cast is so that if for some reason we have to remount it, we can easily put a blade in there, tap it, they come apart. And so uh, we'll basically just let that set up. Now we'll clean up our stone.